How did PB&Js become the staple snack of NBA players? Everyone from Steph to Kyle Korver is chowing them. I probably eat 25 to 30 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches a week. Yeah, I eat a lot of peanut That's... butter and jelly. It all started with the Celtics' big three. One day, Kevin Garnett had a craving for a PB&J. The strength coach hooked him up, and KG had a monster game. Like the opal and uncut gems, KG had to have this every game. The Celtics were dominating, and pretty soon, the jelly was out of the jar. It didn't take long for other players around the league to start asking for PB&Js. Fast forward to the present, and every team not only provides their own players with PB&Js, but the opposition as well. Kevin Durant even partnered with Nike to make a special PB&J colorway for one of his sneakers. In a league where teams hire dietitians and gourmet chefs, how has the PB&J stuck? The best explanation we've got from nutritionists is it provides a level of comfort. The release of serotonin in the brain allows nerves to settle before the game or second half. For a number of players, it's just healthier than candy or cheeseburgers. Throw me a follow if you didn't know this. And if you did, I'll settle for a like.